Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? I hope you're doing just fine, just great. I'm super glad to be here again. And as you can see, we are creating a guild right now. Why? Well, because, you know, I really, really like to breed mounts. So I need to start, you know, just getting the guild set and uh, in the future to be able to buy a padlock. So that's it. Here I was kind of fighting with myself because I didn't quite find the logo for the guild. I wanted it to be a dragon, but I didn't really like that one. So I went for a dragon turkey. And for the name, I went with Rimnarch, which is the name of one of the green dragons in Skyrim. You know that I love Skyrim a lot. So here I was just trying to set up a little the language of the guild and stuff like that. Placing it in English and Spanish because those are like the most popular ones just after French, of course. So now you guessed it right, we are talking to Automai Assistant because we need a cure for the Mixo or Mixomoasis, I don't know, it's just an illness in the Wobbit Island. Because today we are sailing to the Wobbit Island. Yes, sir. <laughs> so yeah, here we are talking to the Captain Lily because she is the one that's going to take us to the actual island. We will need to pay her 500 camas, which is acceptable. Let's say it's acceptable. She will actually give us the first quest ever. I didn't really count this one as a quest because first off, uh, it's super easy. I mean, you just you just complete the quest by going through the other quests but this is actually the first quest of this adventure she will ask you to kill some monsters in the island because it seems like they discovered they are really delicious in this case the monsters are the wabbits themselves all right so you will basically focus on wabbits and tea wabbits right then you will need to talk to Fixy the Fox, which is just a map away from Lily. You will ask her about the island and stuff like that, that I'm not, I'm not gonna read. And she will give you the first quest, which is save the species. All right, so in order to do this, you will need to travel throughout the map. But first off, I would recommend you to come here to the zap and set it as your main or saved sap because you will be using this a lot and trust me a lot now you will start um just getting familiar with the island because it's a little bit tricky sometimes it sometimes look like a maze or something so you will need to get familiar with it the first actual resource is going to be located right here in this little house. So as you enter, you will find this carpet looking like a carrot or something. So you will click on it and there you go. You get it. Now you will go out, you will go up, then you will go to the right, right? Then you will find over here a giant carrot you'll need to go down and you will find here the second objective which is finding some firewood so after clicking and getting some firewood you will go to the next one which is over here you will find some earthworms after you get the earthworms you will get to the next part which is over here in this bush it seems like you need to find some berries all right now you will simply need to go to the main and responsible of this quest which is fix to the fox to do that 
I would recommend you using the recall potions because in a couple of clicks you will save a lot of time. So you talk back to fix it a fox and that's the first quest done. Easy peasy. Now as you talk to her again you will receive the quest make love and not war. And you should pay attention to this one because you don't want to work, you want love. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Now, you will need to find some other resources, but first you need to talk to Wawidna and you will take a blood sample from him. Yes, sir, a blood sample. Then you need to kill a black tea wabbit, as far as I know. Well, no, it's just a black wabbit. Yep, it's just a black wabbit to get this flattened black wabbit. Now you will need to come here and get some, I think, carriage or something. I. Right. Now you will continue because you still need a lot of resources. So you enter to this little cave over here, and here is where the kind of maze appears. Follow the path because if you don't follow the path that I'm showing you, you will get lost. I can assure you that 100%. So over here you will take this little cave over here on the right upper corner. Right? And you will find here like, like a pot. You will click on it and you will get some carrot juice or something like that. You actually need to steal this one. So be careful. Cops around. <laughs> Alright, now you will go back. Yes sir. Now you will take the left corner over here you will continue following the path that I'm showing you again guys follow the path because you will get lost this is a tricky one if it's the first one you come over here so be mindful and just follow the path that I'm leading you so I'm gonna show you a mm, kind of easier way to get through this path in some minutes but well we'll get there over here we will need to go down because we are only missing one resource as far as i know you will enter to this little house over here and you will find in the basement let's say this particular object which is kind of like a i don't know paint or something all right so after you get that paint you can now take a recoil potion and go back to fix it a box. All right, so you talk to her and you tell her that you have the ingredients, and that's it. Second question now, I'm showing you the path to the dungeon or the dungeon path. You need to follow this one a lot of times in a lot of different events throughout the island. I mean, it's like you need to follow this one a lot of times, believe me. So I'm going to leave you a 2 minutes and 30 second video over here. And you can just take a look at it, practice it, or just, I don't know, Go back to this part of the video every single time that you need to know where to go because you will need to use this a lot. So I'll see you on the flip side.
okay so now we speak to fix to the fox once more and you will actually take the third quest smells like carrots this is one of the most annoying ones because you need to <laughs> you need to walk a lot man <laughs> a lot oh so the first one is going to be over here you already know the place when I'm, I'm showing you the place itself and the coordinates because you know here I found an arc monster trying to get the second carrot and I decided that I needed to capture it so of course I attempted to do it and I did it I got another arc monster I've gotten now like a 10 or 12 I think so that's the second carrot then you need to go to the third one which is gonna be over here I mean the first four or five carrots are really close they are not so difficult to find now the sixth and the seventh are kind of difficult to find so take a look at this in order to get to the sixth carrot over here you will need to follow the dungeon path all the way up to this portal so for that reason i showed you the path to the dungeon now the the last one you need to enter to these little houses over here that i showed you before you need to follow this particular path over here be mindful you don't want to fall through these holes because you will lose some time right like this mm, don't do it all right after doing that you will enter to this little cave over here and you will find an invisible path yes so you need to turn the grids on and now we need to follow the yellow path in this case all right so as you can see here the little trick that i'm following is just to hold shift while clicking so you can stack some movements that way and that's easy easy peasy all right take your time because it could be tricky now this is this last carrot right so there you go now you take a recall potion you talk to fix it and now you got that done now the fourth question is going to be houston we have a problem all right so we need to follow the path to the dungeon again until you get to this part and talk to her Paul Pitain or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. So after you speak to him, you need to go back to Fixu. You speak back to Fixu. And now you need to find the old time Leonard. This character is going to be next to the portal. So easy. You will talk to him and you will need to talk to the Captain Lily. As you speak to Captain Lily, you will need to find a Wobbit closed up in an underground passage. Now, this is not necessary, but I would recommend you to buy 100 carats per character if you want to get a unique spell. This is a special spell. Now, we need to turn the grids on and follow the green path as we need to come back to this place to talk to this Wobbit, right? So yeah, you need to follow the dungeon path again and take the invisible path, but in this case, it's a different one. So if you hand over 100 carrots, you will get the summon a carrot. You don't really summon this carrot, you plant this carrot, but you know, this is a game, so it makes sense. This carrot will be useful, I can assure you that. Now you speak to him again and you will need to speak to fix it once more. No. <laughs> all right recall potion that's it recall potions everywhere now you need to capture some wobbits for her in the fifth quest which is the gastronomic art now you need to speak to captain lily and she will show you like a wobbit or something like that you will need to offer this wobbit a carrot because that's the only way that he is going to help you now Give him the carrot, please. <laughs> Don't blackmail him. Now, you need to speak to Cecil. Cecil. Caesar. Little Caesars. I don't know. <laughs> Little Caesars. Oh, man. I'm craving a pizza right now. All right. So, after you speak to him, you need to look for some resources. But look at this. I found another arc monster. So, of course, I'm going to capture it. Yes, sir. 
the Ocker Dolphus is coming to me. <laughs> Alright, so here you will find the High Noon Wits, the High Noon Mushroom, and the High Noon Carrot. They call it Calot because they're like uh, Chinese or something. No. You need to follow the dungeon path. And if you come over here and you take this ladder to the base part, basement part, you will actually get exploration achievement. And of course, you will get the GM Wabbit, which is, I mean, it's really, really, really expensive because he only gets here like every three hours or every 30 minutes. I don't really know, but it's not so common to see him. So following the dungeon path, you will come to this place and turn right. Right. Now you will need to take this part that I highlighted and you will find like a kind of a barbecue or something. You'll need to use that one and using one feed of Wabbit, you will create this one. All right. Now you go back to Little Caesar. You hand over the ingredients and now, oh my God, go back again. No, no, man. Yeah. You need to follow the dungeon path again and talk to this weapon. Now you finish this quest. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> now you need to follow the directions that he has been giving you and get the sixth quest. All right. In order to do that, you need to fall from any hole over here and then click on these graves over here. That's the clue. Now you will need to follow this little path over here. You'll need to get out of that house and you will actually need to go through this path to the dungeon again. You will find some skeletons over here. You'll need to kill the skeletons. It's a part of the quest. You will need to kill them. Okay. They are dead, but you need to kill them. Yeah. You will need to find this book over here. Right, and then you finish the quest. And as you read this book, because you need to read the book, it's a quest item. You will finish the quest, and as you read through the pages, you will find a link that will take you to the seventh quest, which is a journey to the center of the Wabbit. You need to go back. And you will find this particular part over here, right? You will find a kind of a rotten carrot over here. You don't need to click on it. You need to click on the grave next to it, right? It took me a little time to find that out. So as you do that, bit to match, which is another character. It's a rogue in this case. We'll talk to you and tell you that. There's something going on in there. You need to figure it out because it seems like it's a little bit shady. Yes, sir. So as you put on the hood, you will click on the rotten carrot and you will get to this place over here. Now, in order to get through the fence, you will need to place your characters or your friends or yourself in this particular tiles, right? Now you will need to cross the fence or the gate. As you are here, you will speak to the Wabbit guard, right? And that's how you conclude the quest. Now, as you enter to the cave, you will get the eighth quest, Prince, not so charming. You will need to talk to these ones. Every single one of them is going to tell you something. So you need to listen to all of them before continuing. And I recommend you to do that with every single of your characters. And in the last one, just click on the X to exit the dialogue because you need to do that in order to get the drop from the princess. Okay. This is a very, very, very easy combat. I mean, I promise you, you will not have any kind of trouble. Unless you're like level 60 or something. But you shouldn't have problems, alright? It's super easy. They just hit a little hard and they have um, good resistances. But anyways, if you play it good, you will have no problem at all. Alright. Now, 
as you kill them, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you will find this necro bacon or something. You will speak to Tim Barton, which is <laughs> a parody of the name of Tim Barton. Okay, so you speak to him and you will speak to the Wabbit assistant and you need to leave because you need to find Victor the Fox once more, right? As you speak to her, you will finish the first achievement. Yes, that's really good. And you will get the title Carrot Muncher. All right, I didn't really like it, so I didn't use it. All right, so cutting as a legend, now we are going to the next one. So in order to do that, you will talk to Fixu again, but first I would recommend you to talk to Loyal, Loyal the Lenald, okay? And he will give you the quest into the Wobble. Now here is where everything gets interesting because you need to fight a lot. And as you speak to Fixu the Fox, she will give you they help you see in the dark, which is another quest. Now Fixus is a repeatable quest, which means that you can do it every single day. You will pick these fresh carrots. They are special carrots. They can't be sold. They can't be obtained any other way than collecting them. All right. So as you go through the map, you will see these little tiny carrots around. So you need to get them. It's a total of 10. And as I said before, you can do this every single day if you want. But for the purpose of the video, we only need to do it once. All right. Now we speak to her again, and that's it. Another quest completed. Now for the next step, you will need to kill five black t wobbits, five t wobbits, and five t wobbit muncher or something like that. Okay, t wobbit blah blah. I don't really know those names, man. Who wrote those names? No. Alright, so this is pretty simple. It's just fight in and fight in and fighting yep you need to fight a lot in these quests so then you will need to speak to him and he will tell you that you are not done that now you will need to kill the old wabbits <laughs> so yeah you need to speak to, oh you don't need to speak to them because they didn't speak you need to kill the wabbits and the black wabbits right so as you kill them you will need to go back to Lenold speak to him and guess what yeah you need to kill some more wabbits now go home wabbit you will need to follow the dungeon path but first we completed the captain lily quest which is also something necessary okay so you will follow the dungeon path and before doing anything come back here because this is a repeatable quest and you will need to complete it so place your characters again in the correct tiles right and you will basically do the same as you did before with the naked for bacon because they are two different quests the actual quest and the daily quest now we're doing the daily quest because we can actually do it all right so as we do that we will get the 13th quest and the name is gonna be the fallen princess right it's pretty easy again you just need to kill the princess once more you will get the necro bacon you will give the necro bacon to the team barton imitation and that is it easy easy yes sir all right so as you leave you need to kill some wabbit skeleton or skeleton wabbits. I'm I'm tired of these um, names, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. All right. So as you finish killing these skeleton wabbits, which is a little bit annoying, but you get some profit out of it because of the bones. You will speak to Lenel, and I think we'll we'll finish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? More? <laughs> oh, no! So with Wabbit Hunt, you will need to follow the path to the dungeon once more. Oh my god! <laughs> but just until this part, you need to kill some of the chubby Wabbits and old Wabbits, right? 
So that's gonna be a little bit annoying because they have a lot of HP, but eventually you will get it, I promise. If you have AoE damage, it's better because as you can see here, I have six Wobbits, six monsters next to each other, so <laughs> that's precious. All right, so after killing those ones, you will speak to Lenel again, and finally, we finished that achievement. But now we take the repeatable quest a little extra, because that was not enough, right? <laughs> Alright, so now we need to talk to Fallenster because we need to get an access quest, which is going to be the Tofu's receptacle. To do that, we need to cross the Pandawa um, bridge or something, Pandala. You will need to come here and talk to this old person over here. He will send you to talk to Suribidna. You can see everything on the map. It's pretty easy. It's amazing. It's just easy. So as you speak to him, he's going to tell you that you will need to drink some kind of special drink <laughs> in order to see what you need to see. So you come to the inn and you will speak to the owner of the inn. And it seems like uh, she's having a little bit of trouble with some people that got drunk. And because you are warriors, you will need to speak to them and tell them, you know, that they need to leave. You need to kind of kill them. Okay, as you speak to her again, she will give you what you need, which is like a visionary paint. Now you will need to talk to this shaman in Erdala. And he will teleport you to this place over here. As you can see, I'm showing you the path you need to follow in some stairs hidden in the waterfall. Alright, so as you click on him, you will get to this place and you will need to go up once more. And you will find this place over here. This place over here is where everything starts for Dove is talking about the main quest because this is the achievement that will allow you to talk to Mariana and get the Duffus quests. So we're doing two quests or two octaves at the same time. This quest, this, uh, oh my God, what happens to me today? So this uh, combat is a little bit difficult because you need to kill this illusion real quick. If some of the elemental balls get close to you, I think you will get one shot it. So be mindful of that and try to kill it as soon as you can. I had no problem with the hopper mage, but with the other characters, I had a little bit of trouble. So now you speak to Suri bit then. Yes. And he gave you the information you needed and to finish the quest. He will give you the last quest, which is wise and wiser. It's not really the last quest. But it's the only quest that we need to continue with our Wabbit adventure. So as we come here, you will actually need to talk to Belpus. Alright, because Helmin seems to be busy. So you talk to Belpus and you will challenge him. He is really, really easy to kill. He only has like 500 HP. So you shouldn't have any problem, right? I could kill him pretty easily and I'm sure you will be able to. Uh, as you speak to Belpus again, he will have no words, so you will need to speak to Helmelin. Helmelin. Oh my god, the names again. Yeah, Helmelin. And she will give you the information you need. You actually need to go now to pay a visit to Captain Lily in Madristam and talk to her to update the quest and get to the Wabbit Island once more. You don't need to use the recall potion. You need to talk to Captain Lily. All right. Wise Lenel will be over here in the map. It's pretty easy to see it. You talk to him and now you need to follow the dungeon path again. Until this part over here, instead of Continuing to the to the dungeon, you will need to click on this one and you will find the Wabbit that was lost. He's having some kind of trouble with the Wabbits. Oh, he's not a Wabbit. He's a Solo. So you. It's a, like a fox. Yeah, it's like a fox, I think. I don't really know the name of their species, but I'm pretty sure he's a fox. So, 
now after killing the Wobbies, you will escort him to this place. You will speak to him and he will thank you for what you did. And now we are friends with the other fox. We start the quest Divine Protection, but that's for further videos. Right now, we are focusing on Wabbit Island. So as we speak to the wise Leonard, we are going to ask him about the wild castle. Okay. Now, it never rains, but it pours. That is the quest. You will need to come here and speak to the high noon Wabbit to get a speech. A Oh my god, again, man. I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna say that you need to follow the path to the dungeon and now get over here. You will basically get some keys from these people, right? And yeah, I know it's super easy to edit the video and just get out. Uh huh, get out again. <laughs> I know it's easy to edit my voice and just, um, you know, take out my mistakes or something, but. You know, I don't want to do it because sometimes I'm like this. Sometimes I speak in a really weird way. And that's me. So, over here you will follow the yellow path. Uh -huh. Again, the invisible path. No. <laughs> I told you. I told you that getting this stuff was, was not so easy. But you needed to walk a lot. Alright, as you do this, you'll come over here. You already came here to get the carrot and you will speak to this wabby. He is going to uh, give you the last key. So over here now you will need to follow the dungeon path once more. But in this case you are actually getting to the dungeon itself. Okay. So as you speak to the wabby, you will hand him the key and you will finish the quest. He will give you the other quest, which is the Wa Castle. Right, so now we are doing the 17th quest. That's a lot. Now, I was trying to get the duo, Blitz Trick, and everything at once. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. This combat was kind of interesting because even though. The Wabbits are not so difficult. I mean, the boss has a lot of HP and I needed to kill him in one turn in order to get the Bleak Creek uh, achievement done. So what I did was getting some traps in kind of a chain reaction, right? Because I figured that was the only way I could really, really manage to kill him. Now, with the help of the Hopper Mage and the runes, I could get a really decent amount of damage. So, there you go. First thing I did was to apply some weakness with the Hopper Mage and then with the Ram, I just killed it. I just destroyed it. <laughs> okay. Now, after getting all the rewards, you need to speak to the wild wobbit. You need to find out more about the deficits and then you need to leave the place. All right. Now, you need to go back to the wise Leonard and as you speak to him, you will tell him that you won in the combat and he will give you another quest. The quest is egg or carrot? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. So you will actually need to find a wall wabbit set. Okay, it's a three-part gear set, so you will need at least a couple of them. Because in my case, for example, I have four characters. If you have one, you just need one. But anyways, you will need to follow the path to the dungeon. It's just that in this particular place I'm showing you right now you'll need to take the right hand and you will need to take this bar over here this little cave and you can find the other dungeon because there are two dungeons in this island now as you speak to him he will only pay attention to you if you are wearing the set if you're not wearing the set 
he's just gonna let you enter the dungeon but you will not update the quest so be mindful of that wear the set after that you can of course wear your normal set okay because fighting with that one is a little bit tricky and here you have it in the last room the wall what was the name <laughs> the carrot Duffus. yes sir now in this case i wanted to get all the achievements because you know that i told you that i wanted to get at least 10,000 points into achievements so i was trying to do my best to get all of them now good i'm gonna show you a little trick with this dungeon because some people don't really know how to do this without for example an osa that has summons because you need to do a lot of indirect damage to be able to kill this ones because of the clean hands achievement i don't remember the name i mean the first one tells you that you you can't kill a character if you're not using indirect damage like traps summons or pushback damage in this case i'm using pushback damage along with the runes and as you can see i'm highlighting here these bots because this is a strategy that you need to follow as you can see with this ram i used a trap over here because i needed to push him in a way that he will i don't know crashed to these bots and it will create a chain reaction all right so now here be mindful that you need to wear the set once more if you don't wear the set and you speak to the wabbit you will only leave the dungeon and that's it you will not get the dolphins you will not get the quest updated so wear the dolphins don't be like me because i wasted the time with galbrat and now you will take the carrot dolphins because you finished this achievement just by doing this there you have it there you have that preciousness i love the dolphins oh my god even though I don't really power level, I really love this one because it's like one of the most iconic deficits ever. So yeah, there you have it. Now you will speak to the wise fox again and you will finish this achievement. You will get an emote as well. Now let's take a look at them. We are two achievements away from getting the ornament and we really like that ornament because it's beautiful so the first one is just doing the quest a little extra and the second one is just playing the cards with all time level now as you could see you drop some wooden cards and you will use them here the strategic cards strategic cards in english <laughs> you will speak to him and that's the first quest as soon as you hand over the wooden cards, you will you will start the round and you will get the quest Lenel Games. So in the first part you will play three rock cards. Now you will play one paper card and one scissors card. Right? You will need to follow these instructions. Because if you don't follow them, you will lose, right? So be mindful and lose. Be mindful and lose. Oh my god, my tongue is twist. Be mindful and follow my commands. <laughs> I need a tongue twister right now. Alright. Now, just speak to him once more. And now you will need to play five rock cards. Okay. Then you need to place your cards face down. Easy peasy. Alright, now you speak to him again, you turn the cards over and you ask who won. And of course you won because you're the best, you're the GOATS. Now, you start the last round, you will play zero rock cards, right? You will play five paper cards and one scissors card. And that is it, you will place your cards facing down you will ask him again who is the goat <laughs> and you are the goat you just won the game 
you just destroyed the all time Leonard. You just <laughs> bullet him. And there you go. Down the wabbit hole. Yes, sir. Just one more to go. Now remember, this last one is just going to be killing some wabbits. So, uh, yeah, you need to go and kill some more. But look at this. Now, if you're not using a mount, you can play the cards. Interesting, right? <laughs> I just love emotes. Okay. As you come back to the center of the island and you start killing these pests. <laughs> oh my god. You will finish them and you will speak to Lenold again. And that's it, my friends. That's how you get the unexpected journey at Wabit Island and you will get the ornament character 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 oh my god look at that just look at that I just love it <laughs> I hope you likes enjoy this one and a special thanks to Jassy for always being here yeah he asked me when I was getting the carrot devils and well here you have it. Here you have it. Again, guys, if you like this, just go and subscribe. And I'm sorry, I know I've been <sighs> off like forever. But it was just having a lot of trouble, a lot of problems, a lot of IRL situations. And well, that's not your fault, but I was trying to get some energy. So I'm here and I'm here to stay. So, have a good one.